Welcome once again to volume of a rectangular prism. Remember that volume is the amount of space occupied by an object. It's measured in cubic units. And the way we write that is units cubed to the power of three. Now the reason we use power of three is that we're talking about three dimensions. We're talking about length as one dimension, width as a second dimension, and height as a third dimension. So that's where we arrive at our units cubed. In our example here, our volume, once again, the formula for the volume is length times width times height. In our example, 30 centimeters is our length, 15 centimeters is our width, and finally 8 centimeters is our height. So again, in cubic units, we have three measurements or three dimensions. When we multiply length times width times height, we can multiply 30 times 15. 30 times 15 equals 450. Then we multiply by 8 to arrive at our solution of 3,600 cubic centimeters. Two examples that we can do together. The first, we'll call prism A. Remember, volume equals length times width times height. So our volume equals 12 centimeters times 6 centimeters times 8 centimeters. 12 times 6 is 72. We multiply by our height of 8. 72 times 8. 576. So our volume is 576 centimeters cubed or cubic centimeters. Let's see if we're correct. And we are. Prism B is for you. Pause the video and take a moment to solve the volume of Prism B. So pause the video now and come back when you're finished. Okay, welcome back. Let's check your answer. If you arrived at 630 centimeters cubed, congratulations. Again, volume equals length times width times height. Our length in this case is 5 centimeters. Our width is 7 centimeters. Our height is 18 centimeters. 7 times 5 is 35. 35 times 18 equals 630. Three dimensions means cubic centimeters. There's a whole page here if you'd like to practice, and the more you practice, the easier volume will be to solve. So I will leave these here for you. Practice as many or all as you wish. You take a second to pause the video and have a practice, and I'll come back and reveal the answers for you. Okay, welcome back. I will drag the answer box across to my target. And you can check your answers. And there you go. If you need a second to check your answers or check your math, pause the video. Otherwise, I'm going to continue. The final page is a two-step problem for volume, and we're going to see one of these on the test. This is actually number 8 on page 227 of your textbook. Each block in a set is 15 centimeters long, 10 centimeters wide, and 5 centimeters high. Suppose you put the blocks in a box that is 50 centimeters long, 35 centimeters wide, and 30 centimeters high. How many blocks will fit in the box? Well, before we panic, let's take this one step at a time. Obviously, we're talking about volume. So we can determine that the smaller of our prisms can represent the block. We know that each block in a set is 15 by 10 by 5. So let's stop there. We know it's 15 centimeters long, 
10 centimeters wide and 5 centimeters high. So let's find the volume of one block. Volume equals length times width times height. So the volume of one block would be 15 times 10 times 5. 15 times 10 is 150 times 5. Our volume of one block is 750 centimeters what? Cubed, right, because we're length times width times height. So let's continue forward then. We know the volume of one cube. Let's say we're going to put all those bo blocks in a box. So here's our box, and I realize they're not to scale. Our box is 50 centimeters long, 35 centimeters wide, 30 centimeters high. So let's find the volume of our box. 50 centimeters long, 35 centimeters wide, 30 centimeters high. So the volume of our box, as usual, is length times width times height. Our volume is 50 times 35 times 30. 50 times 35, oh boy. Is 1,750 times 30. It's 52,500. So the volume of our box is 52,000. 500 cubic centimeters. So let's move on to the final portion, which is how many blocks will fit into the box. So if we're considering only volume, we know that the volume of a single block is 750 cubic centimeters. And we want to make those blocks fit into a box that has a volume of 52,500 cubic centimeters. Remember back to when we discussed division, we want to know how many 750 cubic centimeter blocks fit into a 52,500 cubic centimeter box. So we say, yeah, we're going to try to divide. And I'm going to take a wild guess that it's 7. So 750 can't go into 5, can't go into 52, can't go into 525. So we have to ask ourselves, how many times will 750 go into 5,250? I'm going to guess 7. And let's see how well I did. Oh, and look at that, I'm spot on. 750 times 7 is 5,250. Subtract, bring my 0 down, and 0. So how many times will 750 go into 0? Obviously, 0 times. So ultimately, we come to the conclusion that how many of the 750 cubic centimeter blocks will fit into a 52,500 cubic centimeter box? And our answer was about 70 blocks. Well done. This will end part two of our volume discussion. Have a good evening.